Hello baby queers and welcome back to my channel. It is my first time doing a video on Batwoman's Anatomy. I am kind of excited but also kind of terrified because if you've ever seen the subreddit or a video on the subreddit, you know it's gonna be a mess. So let's do it I guess. <laughs> Somehow, the fashion industry doesn't get that everyone needs pockets, lol. Um, I think they do that to sell purses, to be honest. Uh, no, they don't, because it's harder to get a good fit for female biology. Because of the thicker hips, it's harder to place pockets. Yeah, of course. Uh, nope, have you ever seen scrubs? I have scrub pants that have five pockets or so, including a functional pocket inside another pocket. I am pretty sure regular pants can have two functional pockets. Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard to have two functional pockets. Hashtag stop fake pockets. I'm just gonna... I'm sorry, OT, I'm just gonna steal it because we need to stop fake pockets. It's the most annoying thing ever. You have pockets, but then they're fake. Or you have pockets and they're like this tiny and you can't fit like anything into it. Stop it, please. We need pockets. Everyone needs pockets. Thank you. If you fake an orgasm, then that's your fault, not mine. If you cannot find clitoris with access to the entire freaking internet though, and can't listen to them if they're comfortable like directing or telling you, then it does become your fault though. Like seriously people, it's not like you don't have access to diagrams. And in what world is the clitoris the key to the female orgasm? But this is exactly what I mean. It's so freaking weird. Like you have access, access to the internet. But then you still want to sit there and say that the clitoris has nothing to do with anything? Or that it's that hard to find? What? <laughs> you know what happens every time I visit the subreddit? It's just that I end up feeling bad for any woman who's ever slept with any of these men. I'm really sorry, honey. I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, look at the legs on this one. Talk about a great set of pins. Well, literally, you could... You could stab someone with those legs. That, that, that is not like even Barbie style of unrealistic body anymore. That's just, that's just amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Pregnancy fun fact. Oh my god. I don't think so. Babies inherit their mother's va va is it vagal tone in the womb, which determines their ability to become resilient towards stress throughout their life. It's ideal to have a high vagal tone, which can be supported by ingesting adequate probiotic foods, deep breathing, icing the vagus nerve, excuse you, gargling, singing, gentle workouts, and acupuncture, all pregnant. The what now? The, the what tone? I mean... What? I... Listen, probiotic foods are good for anyone. I'm not even coming for that. Deep breathing, sure. Because I do think that the mother's state while being pregnant definitely does have influence on the child, obviously. Not sure about the vagal tone, though. What? Also, acupuncture while pregnant? That's the... Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I'm confused. We're moving on. <laughs> Why would you ever tell someone that, though? And never mind telling the internet. A baby, the baby boy must take after his daddy. He found my cervix and is constantly playing with it now. Such an odd feeling. I, I don't think so. I really, I. What? That's. You know, it confuses me if men don't know women's anatomy, but it somehow seems worse when women don't know their own biology. Because that's. This is... this is weird. <laughs> uh, I answered this from nature's viewpoint. Remember women, you are solely here to give birth. That's what nature is all about. But now that doesn't matter to us, but to nature it does. That's why y'all end up getting depressed without kids, even though you never wanted kids in the first place. The truth hurts. Well, the truth is you're an idiot. That... You know... Like... If you don't want kids... Fine don't have kids and don't pretend like with the state of the world it's because they didn't have kids what are you doing what are you doing but like what 
Okay, the only reason that some women have painful cramps during their periods is because they eat like shit and never exercise. You can't freaking drink soda and eat junk food every day and expect your cycle to happen pain free. Holy freaking shit. First of all, if you've never had a period in your life, maybe, maybe just shut up about periods. Maybe just shut up about it. You know, like, yeah, some people get lucky and don't have period cramps or, you know, don't like have any kind of pain with it. But A, it's generally always uncomfortable, I think, for probably everyone. And secondly, yeah, well, diet can influence it, but you can eat as healthy and clean as you want if your body decides to hate you and give you period cramps. You can have period cramps. What are you doing? Like, again, why, w why would you talk about periods if you have no idea what periods are like? Why? Anyways. And actually, then I have a bunch of this. There was a compilation of some kind of comment section. I don't even know what's going on, but there are just so many comments. If her ring finger is bigger than her index finger, she's a man. No question. You know what? My ring finger... Because the thing is, like, on my left hand, they're, like, the same size. And on my right hand, my index finger is smaller than my ring finger. What does that make me, biologically? Anyways, <laughs> she has a donut belt. Natural born women don't have that. It doesn't matter how fit and toned a woman may get, we will never have that, because it's just not our anatomy. Okay, for reference, yes, this is a picture of a man, obviously, but, um, this isn't bonus belt. Yes, most women will always have, like, that little bump in their stomach and not be that flat. But what the, what are you, what are you talking about? What are you, you know that bodies are different, you know? Oh well. This younger generation will have to start asking for birth certificates with a seal on it for authenticity before the first date. Damn. Okay, first of all, transphobia. Real cute. Real cute on the transphobia. And secondly, who gives a shit? Like, that's not how... What? Because so many people are trans that you really can't tell anymore? What is, what is going on? You can always tell by the hips. Straight hips equals male, and curved hips equals females. Of course, yeah. She said she has ADHD, and guys are over three times more likely to have ADHD than girls, and when girls get it, it's not really from being hyper, it's just showing inattentiveness. Sir? My guy. My guy. What are you talking about? Because, yeah, mm, women are more likely to, like, present in the inattentive way or, like, inattentive type of ADHD. But A, that doesn't mean that just because a woman has, like, the super hyperactive and is, like, displaying signs of hyperactivity, like, outwards, because, like, yeah, most women tend to get socialized in a way that is just, like, directed inwards, that they're just, like, you know, racing thoughts and daydreaming and all that shit. But just because a woman has the, like, typical hyperactive presentation, does that suddenly mean she was more a man? Because that makes no fucking sense. Oh well. Yeah, I agree with the way she's shaped. She's shaped straight, no curves. When she's boxing, her legs skinny, no shape by hips. Most women are men nowadays. Please don't be a fool. First of all, please learn English. And I'm only saying this to be rude right now, because normally if you don't speak English well, that's fine. But if you're trying to sound smart, and like, you know what you're talking about, it's really not helping your case right now, and it's really not helping me make fun of you because I can't even read what you're saying. But again, what the hell are you talking about? A thought when I seen her, but look at her feet. Not trying to be funny, but men and women have different kind of feet. Her feet is definitely a man's feet, for sure. Women of a skinny frame size feet should be a hell of a lot slimmer. You nailed this one. Again. Again, yeah, normally, like, most women have smaller feet than men, but honestly, again, bodies come in all different, like, shapes. What do you... What? How do you expect? 
like this many people, like everyone on earth, to follow like the same body shape. That just doesn't work. What are you talking about? And then the last comment on this section, because y'all crazy, what the fuck? Both men and women come in all shapes and sizes and she acts like a man? Yeah, she grew up with brothers and mostly male friends, I'm pretty sure. Y'all are crazy, I'm honestly shocked at this comment section. See how many people agree with this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been saying. It just makes no sense. <laughs> okay, let me school y'all on some shit. Look at Meg's hip and look at the shape of these hip implants. Mm -hmm. You can clearly see the damn implant outline. Meg is a man. Shaking my damn head. I can't believe y'all can't see this. Look at that face though. I've done these procedures in the OR. Trust me people, she's a surgical man. If y'all like this man, you're a gay man. Look at that jawline, that neck, that thick chest. Look at those big ass hands and not to mention the highest belly button. Y'all need to learn male-female anatomy. I'm sorry, what? That's my only thought on that. Because no cis woman has ever had, like, hip implants or any kind of procedure. Or, like, breast implants or hip implants or whatever kind of implants. Really? First of all. And then second of all... What? None of the rest made sense. None of this makes sense. What are you doing? Do y'all know when you're stinking up the room? Nick Cannon talks about how women smell. Cannon had the unmitigated gall to respond with, That's amazing, but that's not normal. Trust me, man. We talk about this all the time. Do y'all know when y'all are stinking up the room? The fun host of America's Got Talent needs to understand that vaginas will naturally emit an odor. It's natural. A vagina will have a smell even after a bath or shower because it is a place that has lymph nodes, glands, and odor-producing flora, which can easily be disrupted or thrown off by sexual encounters with men. Well, yeah. What? I love how men assume shit about women's bodies and assume that they know women's anatomy and also, the fact that they think they don't have, like, a natural odor and the fact that men's hygiene is generally worse. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Oh my god. Anyways, moving on. This is your weekly reminder to wash your vagina at least once a week. Until we meet again. I, I mean, you said at least, but really? What do you... Okay, please generally wash your entire body way more frequently than once a week, thank you. <laughs> now, someone posted this, um, and added the humor flair. Oh well. The men who think they know better than the woman if she orgasmed or not. From my personal experience, disclaimer, please don't give me any medical advice or tips. I know what to do with this disorder. The entire goal of the post is to laugh at these two men. Thanks. I am completely anorgasmic, I used to be able to orgasm on my own like a decade ago, so I know what it means to have an orgasm. Lately though, I was experimenting with men a bit. No full sex, but a lot of oral, and although it was pleasurable, I am anorgasmic and wouldn't come, and that's what I had told them multiple times. That's what they were in for. One guy got it and respected it, I actually had the most fun with him, but there were the other two who just decided to, um, disagree? They say that, till this day, that they have made me come, even though that's just not true, and I've been telling them this. I overheard the last guy talking on the phone with his bestie, probably, and he was telling him that he made me come like a hurricane. <laughs> so, also, when talking to me, this guy was like, oh yes, did you come? I could feel it with my hand, it was intense, like, while I literally did not, it was really funny to me. Also, the fact that I came across, came across two guys like that, not just one. The two. Why would... <laughs> I mean, why would you assume it? But also, why would anyone lie and say they didn't if they did? This logic makes no sense. It just... It just makes no sense. Oh my god. <laughs> ah yes, seed fumigation. Why... 
why? This doesn't even seem healthy, but why? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, my boss asked me to schedule my birth over a weekend so I wouldn't take too many days off. True story, when I was pregnant and started showing, my showing I mean I just couldn't cover it up anymore, my boss actually came up to me and said, I, I know scheduled births are a thing. Is there a way you can have this baby on a Thursday and be back to work on Monday? This way you don't have to take too many days off at once. I literally went home that day and never came back to the office. That seems fair. Scheduled births? What? If it was possible to schedule it, why would you... Why would people... Like, why would people not schedule it? In a way that's convenient for them. Why would people give birth in the middle of the night or something? Why wouldn't they just, like, be like, Oh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. Nice and comfy at, like, 10 a.m. I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm just gonna, like, postpone it so I can get a good night's sleep. Why would you... <laughs> Stop being weird, my dude. <laughs> Approximately 12 hours after delivering our second baby, my now ex-husband pointed out my belly stretch marks and literally yelled at me. How could you let that happen? Stretch marks don't go away and now I have to look at that disgusting body of yours for the rest of my life. Yep, folks, I had literally given birth to our baby number two the night prior. I should have anticipated this attitude as... When I was 8 months pregnant in the middle of the summer and didn't want to go to the outdoor festival with him, he told me I was fat, old, unattractive and boring. He also told me, why can't you just suck that belly in? Why, why are you so fat? Why I was pregnant. With his child. I guess he just doesn't understand how pregnancies work. I'm sorry, what? I mean, a child number two. So... He's kind of experienced this before with child number one, right? Second of all, the entire thing is disgusting. What is this behavior? Oh my god. But literally, what, what to all of this? How are people like this real? <laughs> She's... Oh god. I know this isn't the men writing women subreddit, but... And she got one hand on the stroller that holds an adorable little boy. The boy's soft on curls make my ovaries eject 3x at once. I can feel it happening. She ruffles the little boy's hair lovingly. He blows a raspberry and my ovaries shoot out two more eggs. That's not how ovulation works. That's not how ovulation works. What? Why would ovulation even work like that? What? You know we're joking when we say our ovaries kick in when we see a cute baby, right? You know that was a joke, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Why the heck do girls waste so much blood? I mean, you can just donate it to the soldiers instead of wasting it. Short side note, if we would, like, lift unnecessary bans on certain groups of people, aka the gays, from donating blood, then the soldiers would have enough blood and we would have enough blood for like accidents and stuff. But hey, let's ban a whole group of people from donating blood, right? <laughs> but what? That's, that's just weird. That's just weird. Anyways, <laughs> Chad Vara, a priest, saw a funeral for a 14-year-old girl who committed suicide after having no one to talk to when her first period came, believing it was an STD. He recalled thinking, little girl, I, I never knew you, but I promise you that you've changed my life. He vowed to encourage sex education and to help people who are contemplating suicide. In 1953, Vara found the world's first suicide hotline. A good priest. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, um, education is important because otherwise people will definitely think something's wrong like if they don't know what's happening to the to their bodies so yeah kind of important <laughs> uh, not if you're hung ask any woman if you're packing something that's big but not too big they want to cut to the chase asap and feel that inside them yeah no not really i've had my fair share of hung dudes and foreplay is still better many many women can't orgasm from penetration alone so foreplay is more fun yeah, I think that a lot of women have convinced themselves that they can't come that way, and thus they won't. Well, that's flat out untrue, but believe what you want, believe, friend. 
Yeah, that's not how... That's not how it works. In the end, boobs are nothing more than fake asses. Back when we still walked on all fours, we always had it in front of us, the butt. Then from the time mankind started walking on two legs, we stopped having butts stuck in our faces all the time, and in that place what appeared in front of our faces were boobs. Women grew larger breasts to take place of the buttocks. The original source of life is the buttocks. Boobs are nothing more than a pale imitation of the buttocks. If asked what you'd rather have, a copy or an original, naturally I would choose the original. Hey, you what now? This confuses me. First of all, just say you're a just say you're a bot guy and, and leave, please. And secondly, that's what? I'm I'm just confused. <laughs> okay, it's been a year since I last announced this, so um I think it's time for my yearly update. PSA, we do not pee out of our vagina. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you in a year. Well, you probably don't do it out of your asses. Do you do talk out of there, lol? And that leaves the vagina, unless there is a third hole somewhere for the pee to come out of. Sir, you are... This close. This close. You're this close. To... Being almost smart. Because if you were smart, you would have googled before making a full lot of yourself on the internet, but... What? Literally... This is why we need sex education. Anyways... <laughs> Nobody. The girl. Is she washing herself with... Really? Alright, she's washing herself with a sock. Well, it reminds me of this one time I used a sock in the bathroom of my guy friend to wipe my crotch, and long story short, it turned out to be his cum sock, which I didn't realize until my period was too much late, and I took a test, and it turns out I got pregnant from it. Ma'am. Ma'am. This is not how pregnancies work. Also, why would you use a random sock laying in anyone's bathroom to wipe yourself with. Who even does that? Come on, what are you talking about? But that's no, no. <laughs> in my 20s, I dated a lot of crazy women because I'm dumb. The weirdest sexual experience was the time I was going down on a woman. She came so hard that she miscarried in my mouth. I was a little drunk and I ended up swallowing it a portion of it. Here I was, looking like I just murdered the Kool-Aid man and trying to calm down a woman that won't stop screaming at me that I ate her baby. And needless to say, the relationship didn't last that long after this incident. What are you... I mean, yeah, if this actually happened, she is a little, um, also not really that great at anatomy, but what? What? That's, that's not how periods work. Anyways. <laughs> pee. It's just pee. Mm, what? Did I stutter? Okay, so you're saying that a vagina's natural lubricant that doesn't even come out of the urethra is just pee. Yeah. Again. Take a minute to Google. You know. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> oh, honestly, I mean, if you have like an ad like this, like 10 million plus products for 99 cents, your one-stop shopping mall online. Buy now, pay later. 30 days free return. It already seems really legit. Anyways, but this ad is disgusting. A, if it would do that, I don't think it's something you would actually want to put on your body, because that that's not that does not seem healthy. And secondly. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that it's definitely not gonna work. And also, can we maybe stop judging people by their shape? You know, whether that's like body shape in general or shape of your genitals. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> ah, yes, a creative body base. Mm, ceramic, hydro, literally, literally. Like from the back, it already looks really wrong. But the front, it, it, what, what is going on? These look, these look, these look wild. <laughs> well, one thing I don't understand is, did our previous generation's mothers and sisters didn't have periods? 
This thing was unheard a few decades back. What happened now? Did women evolve within decades? Actually, it's just become a fashion to highlight all these things women do, which was pre previously their responsibility. Cooking and cleaning, they say. When my mom fell sick and my dad was outstation, I have done all this along with continuing my studies. If you have a mate, then it's a lot easier. Periods? It's not man-made, it's the nature. So please don't make a huge fuss about it. And period mood swings. This is so very overrated. An excuse to all the BS that a woman do on some days of the month. An excuse to be disrespectful only to husband, cocky and not doing any work. I wonder, did our previous generations also do the same? Okay, first of all, if your husband will literally hit you if you don't do housework, you're gonna do the housework no matter how much you're actually suffering because of your period. First of all. Second of all, again, if you've never had a period in your life, why would you why would you comment on what it's like to have a period and say, oh, it's natural. Yeah, because something is natural doesn't always mean it's like pleasant or easy. And what? Just no. My guy, just no. <laughs> Um, now this one I don't actually find hard to believe at all. Unofficial study finds comic book breasts have grown 300% since the 1940s. <laughs> I love the unofficial study, but yeah, yeah, it's that's kind of fair. I mean, original Wonder Woman, well, looks like a normal woman who's quite buff, but yeah, it's it's getting a bit wild, I guess. <laughs> It's so funny how women get shamed for losing their virginity, but men get shamed for not losing their virginity. Then who are men supposed to lose their virginity to? Losing. Lose is what you call a woman who have a lot of sex. Lose is the empty hole in your skull, you dumb bitch. Well... That's just kind of fair. Because... Why would you... Why would you... That's not how... That's not how vaginas work. That's not how sex works. That's not... That's not how bodies work. Anyways... <laughs> are vaginas getting bigger and someone didn't tell me? Okay, legit, the size of someone's vagina has nothing to do with the size of the pad they need. That has more to do with the flow, whether light or heavy, and the size of the person, because larger underwear would need a larger pad, and so on. I require these crazy big pads, because my period flow is typically incredibly heavy, and even with a cup of tampon, I usually blow through these overnight or if I'm at work and can't be in the bathroom the whole day. First of all, not peeing all day is generally unhealthy. And especially leaving a tampon or like a cup in that long is probably not great either. But anyways, yeah. I mean, I get that this can just be the first thought someone goes to of like, well... Our vagina is getting bigger. But then again, why would you post it instead of just like googling it? Or googling why different pad sizes exist? Because I know Reddit's like pretty anonymous, but why would you... Why would you put this out on the internet, you know? Why? Oh well. Okay, heads up, this is, this is gonna be a weird one. Um, with my ex-girlfriend, I could tell when she was gonna start her period. The day before, if I caught a whiff of her pee, it smelled different. Um, not that I sniff her pee a lot, but we lived together for a long time and sometimes you just smell the pee. I'm, I'm not weird and I don't have to justify myself to you and it's not weird. In fact, it's very normal to every now and then accidentally catch a sniff of your significant other pee when they left the toilet. It's not like I, I ran in after her and took a big whiff or anything. That would be weird. I'd just be walking past and catch the smell. Uh, you're defending yourself a lot there. I just wanted to be clear that I'm not weird. It's not weird to smell your girlfriend's pee every now and then. Yeah, you were very clear about that. I mean, I guess it is plausible that your pee smells different at different like stages of the cycle just because hormones. Um, but why? I'm not sure it's that noticeable and the whole situation just seems not weird at all. It's not weird at all. Whenever I meet a man, I make sure that we're on the same page. No marriage, no kids, law. I want my shit to stay intact and not hang like the sleeve of a wizard. That... That is a picture. That is a picture I did not want in my head, actually, but... Again, that's, that's not how any of this works, but...
Well, if you don't want kids, that's totally fair. <laughs> but they're not the exact same product. Men and women are biologically different. If a woman were to, for example, use a razor, razor marketed towards men, she would skin herself alive because women's skin works different than men's skin. Ah yes, and men's shampoo turn women into stone. Men's sunscreen catapults women into the sun. Um, you know, I tried a women's body wash once and I died immediately. Yes, this is why we have gender products, because otherwise, you're gonna die. You know, you don't want to like accidentally get heated into the sun because you took like a men's sunscreen, right? <laughs> I love how mom had things under control. Cats are something else. Would you spar with one? She's been run through. It's a scientific fact that women with a high body count spiritually connect to felines. Scientific fact, huh? Show me these, this, this, these studies. Show me these facts you're talking about. Because what? What the hell? <laughs> ah yes, these hips do in fact lie from an Imbu app. I don't know what Imbu is, but damn. But yeah, I kind of goes along well with the Marvel study of breast size increasing because those are also very, you know, unproportional. I'm just gonna say unproportional because this whole thing is very weird. And that was... why did I end on that one? Okay, I wanted to end on a fun one that's not that serious because when people in real life just start talking nonsense like that, I find it hard to believe that people like that exist, but apparently they do. But that's why I wanted to end on a fun one. I, f I still feel like I am losing my mind because wow. Wow. Anyways, I hope you had fun. I hope y'all didn't suffer as much as I did making this. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, and I will see you in three days, hopefully with a video that's not gonna make me lose brain cells this much.